for once the weather is perfect like god has blessed me <laughs> hi guys my name is sabine and welcome to another video today i have my february wrap up and my march tbr february was like an okay reading month for me like the first two and a half weeks i was reading one book and then i just dnf'd it and i was like okay i just need a good book right now and then i read a good book and right now I'm just really like in a reading mood. So I'm working through my fourth book right now. So I will show you guys my first book that I read this month in February. So the first book that I was extremely disappointed with was The Warrior Air by Cinda Williams Chima. So like I said in my last video, I'm doing really well on like my TBR for this whole year because I read a Cinda Williams Chima book and that was like on my TBR for 2016. The moment that I ordered this, I was just like, oh my God, this is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be a mixture between contemporary and fantasy and it just sounds really awesome. So this book is about this guy named Jack. He's 16 years old and he finds out that he's part of like this underground fantasy world. In this fantasy world you can either be a wizard, a sorcerer, an enchanter, or a warrior and Jack is born a wizard but he has a warrior stone. People have stones at their hearts. Jack finds out that he is a warrior and uh, this wizard society is split into two parts, so you have like the White Rose Society and the Red Roses. So these two societies both want power and they determine that by playing the game, so Jack eventually has to play in the game. And I read until page 305 and the game still hasn't started. The story is just so slow and so boring. While I was reading it, I was enjoying it, but every time that I was like, okay, I gotta finish this book, I was like, oh. It's so boring, I just don't like it. So I DNF'd it at page like 305. I just didn't care for the characters. It didn't really bother me not knowing really how this story was gonna end. So that was like a sign for me to be like, okay, I just gotta stop reading this. I gave this one like a 2.25 stars or two stars out of five. I just don't like it and I'm so disappointed because I've heard a lot of great things about Cinder Williams' Chima, but this book is just, nope. After The Warrior Air, I really wanted to read a book that could pick me up and get me back in the mood for reading. So I picked up a Colleen Hoover book and this is Ugly Love by her and guys, I absolutely loved this book. This book wasn't as good as maybe someday in my opinion, but that's just like my personal preference. So this book is about Tate and she moves in with her brother Corbin because she can't pay like her rent for an apartment and her studies and all that kind of stuff. She meets his friends who are all pilots because Corbin is a pilot as well and she meets Miles. Miles and Tate are both very attracted to each other like physically, but they don't really want like the things of a relationship so they both end up just having sex and nothing more but eventually feelings get involved and the story gets a little bit more complicated again what I really liked about this book was like the dual point of view that's what I always like about Colleen Hoover books although this is my second book so I cannot really say that but that's just something that I really love about her writing it was so good so I gave it a 4.25 out of 5 stars it's definitely not a 5 stars for me because I did have some problems with it but I will probably make like a book talk about this so the next book that I read was Le Petit Prince by Antoine de Saint Exupéry. So this is about a man who travels all over the world with his plane but then his plane crashes in a desert and he meets this little prince and this prince tells him about like where he comes from and his planet. It was a nice story but it's literature so generally I do not really like enjoy literature but it still was like a good story so I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. So right now on to my March TBR. So the first book that I'm reading in March and that I'm already starting like in February but I will not be finishing this book before the 28th of February. So this is A Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. So this doesn't come out until March in the States, but it already came out like in the UK and Europe. So I just bought this book. If you guys want to see my birthday book haul, it's not actually my birthday. Like my birthday is on April 14th, but I will explain that in the video. So if you guys want to see that book haul, I will leave it right here. Until so far, I'm like around page 100. It's super action packed and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm really excited to read more of this book. I cannot wait. <laughs> After Rebel of the Sands, I will probably read The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. I'm just so excited to continue on with the Throne of Glass series and these are like the prequels to the Throne of Glass series and I've heard that this is really good, really amazing so I just cannot wait to dive back into this world and just absorb the goodness of this story. So the next book that I'll probably read after The Assassin's Blade is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I'm just really excited to see what this series really is about because I know that it's like with shadow hunters and demons and all that kind of stuff and I'm really excited for the TV show. I've heard that it's not really that good anymore. Like the first episode I really enjoyed it. It wasn't like the best episode of all time. So for the rest of March I don't really have any other plans. I will probably have to read a book for Dutch. If you guys want to see what I'm currently reading or what book I just finished, what my ratings are, you can follow me on Goodreads. I will leave my Goodreads page in the description down below so you guys can follow me. Let me know in the comments down below which books you have read in February and which books you are planning to read in March. If you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!